the wrong microbe can change the function of the skin and make it super permeable. It's like completely, you know, like you you wouldn't. It's not intuitive, right? You don't you don't think that. Wait a minute, eczema on my skin can lead to food allergies. As it turns out, kids who have eczema early on in life, as babies and toddlers, they have eight times more likely to develop serious food allergies than kids who do not have eczema. And the reason for that is the penetration of foodborne antigens through that permeable skin entering into circulation not through the gut. Through the gut, your system, your body has systems to build tolerance, right? They, we call it oral tolerance. For that reason, when you go through the skin, it creates a hypersensitivity response to that antigen, that protein or whatever it may be. And as a result, you build an allergy to it, right? So this is something called the atopic march, which is starting with atopic dermatitis, which starts with dysbiosis on your skin microbiome, leads to lifelong struggle with very serious food allergies, right? So just it, I like using that example because it, it helps people wrap their head around how a simple change in the ecosystem of a part of your skin can lead to you struggling for the next 20 years with severe peanut allergy and anaphylactic risk and all kinds of crazy stuff, right? From this one ecological change.